what's good everyone my name is cookie t welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thank you so much for tuning in uh, today is going to be a little bit of a different styled video it's going to be kind of a story time so um, stay tuned and if you'd like to see me go from zero pips to profit definitely stay tuned for my next video don't forget to like and subscribe and if you feel inclined to do so give me a comment or drop a comment down below let's get into my forex journey my trading journey i'm not the best storyteller so i'm gonna do my best at explaining like every everything that happened and like the events that are i guess important to the storyline so bear with me okay <laughs> bear with me so before I start off, um, I just want to apologize for such a long wait between this video and the last. I wasn't really sure what type of video to do next. Um, I had a couple ideas, but I just wasn't really, <laughs> and I wasn't feeling those topics, but um, God put this on my heart to share, and I think it's uh, something important to, um, I don't know, get out there and share with the world. I think it might help somebody, and... Um, maybe help somebody with their their journey in faith and journey in God and if you don't believe in God um, maybe this might change your mind so my Forex journey let me start off with when I first got started in Forex I first got started with Forex in around March April of 2020 so that was last year um, I've been trading for a little over a year and a half my friend actually hit me up <laughs> asking me if I wanted to like get into another source of income and I was like hell yeah girl like <laughs> I definitely want to get another source of income like who doesn't so the crazy thing about this is that I was working full-time at the smoke shop if you guys have seen in my first video um, that was my full-time job um, during that period of my life and literally i was only out of work for two weeks um through the whole pandemic i was only out of work for two weeks and she hit me up actually a couple days before we had to close the shop so she hit me up she introduced me to this forex academy um and they had a whole bunch of videos for me to go through and like start learning about the charts and learning about everything i need to know um in order to start trading and she hit me like literally a couple days before I was out of work. So I was like, you know what? Let me just take this time to get through the whole academy, learn everything I could. So by the grace of God, I was only out of work for two weeks and um, I was super excited to like put my full fo focus into Forex. So that's exactly what I did. I didn't even want to go back to work actually because, you know, if you trade yourself, which I'm assuming you do if you're watching this forex journey video then like the high of like all the possibilities with forex like it's your head like oh my gosh i'm gonna be a millionaire like i don't need no nine to five like i'm about to be making bread within a couple of months you know yeah <laughs> that did not happen but yeah so i spent those two weeks learning about forex and after that i went back to work um la di da di da you know a couple months goes by and I meet my boyfriend so in September of 2020 I met my boyfriend we met and he was really into like investing and stuff he wanted to get into real estate so I was like okay that's great so one day we were walking through the mall and someone came up to me and they're like hey um, you seem like you would you're very really beautiful you seem like you would be great in modeling would you like to send in application in to like be part of this modeling agency so i wasn't really like into it i had no intention of being a model getting into the modeling industry but um, my boyfriend was like yeah you should do it like you know there's only opportunity here like you know just send it in and see what happens so i was like you know okay if he believes in me and you know he thinks i can do it i know there's good money in the modeling agency so let me send in my application now I know what you guys are probably thinking like Tia what does any of this modeling stuff have to do with Forex and <laughs> I will get into that just just bear with me okay so I sent in my application to be part of the agency 
Uh, a couple days later, they called me and they said, hey, you've been accepted. We have um, an audition or just like an introductory call that we want you to be part of before, you know, you decide that you want to be a part of this agency. So I ended up going to the the call and I was like, you know what, this is great. Like they're offering modeling classes, so they're not just going to send you straight into the modeling industry without knowing what you're doing. But there is a hefty price tag. So I was like, I don't know how I'm going to pay for this, but I want to be a part of it. And my boyfriend's like, you know what, I got you. I believe in you. I know that this is like a good opportunity for you. So I'll pay for it. So he ended up paying for it um, for me and it was a pretty hefty price tag. So there was like monthly, like weekly payments. So like, okay, you know, that's fine. Like after I get done with all these classes and I do my little graduation, there's a two year contract guaranteed at the end of it. So even, you know, even though we're spending less money, I could possibly make it back in the jobs that I get through the agency, you know, once I complete the, the coursework. So <clears throat> I went through the whole modeling, I went through the whole, <laughs> the whole modeling school, whatever, graduated, got the contract. So I was like, okay, let's get down to business. And during this whole period of time, um, I was studying, I was on like live trading sessions. I was doing everything that I could to um, just improve my skills, you know, and just become the best trader that I could possibly become. So a couple months after we started dating, you know, he's seen the benefits of Forex and he wanted to get into it himself, but he just didn't have time because of his job and he wanted to go back to school. So he's like, I'll give you money to open a larger Forex account so that we can make larger returns and possibly make money for a down payment on a house because he wanted to buy a house within the next year or within the next year or so so i was like okay yeah like let's do that but i did let him know like the risks i was just a newbie trader <laughs> you know i was still learning and he understood the risks so he's like okay that's fine you know but he was just so excited about the opportunity like myself as well because forex is a great opportunity you know to build wealth and create financial freedom so he was like, you know what, let's just do it. Let's go. I met my boyfriend, funded the larger, larger trading account. And during this time, I was also still going through my modeling classes. Um, fast forward to early 2021, I graduated from the modeling school. I'm still trading with the high frequency account. And um, my agency actually, they, they email me and they're like, hey, we have an international agent coming in for a modeling conference happening in Los Angeles, you know, come audition and you might get the opportunity to be part of this conference and audition in front of international agencies. So I was like, you know what, let's go. Like I'm totally down. Like it's such a good opportunity, right? So I go to the cast, I go to the audition and I audition, I'm selected. They're like, oh my gosh, you're selected. You can go to the conference, you know, like it's gonna be such a great opportunity. There's so many people um, who have become successful and who have become major actors, like they said Ashton Kutcher and a couple other people, right? So I'm like, okay, seems legit, you know? You know, which it is, <laughs> it is legit. And if you know, if you've heard about this type of conference, then you're probably thinking about the same agency that I was with. Still trading with the, the high frequency account. I am going to monthly meetings for this conference. And for this type of conference, it's very competitive. So it re there requires a lot, a lot of preparation. Like you need to get new outfits, headshots. You have to get um, work experience, like modeling, acting experience. And keep in mind, I had never done any type of theater acting nothing in high school so I'm like straight out the jump trying to get into this <laughs> straight out the jump meanwhile I'm preparing for this conference meanwhile I'm you know trying to become a better trader trading daily I'm also trying to get jobs because I now have a contract with the agency so they're sending me jobs trying to get jobs uh, I'm trying to get jobs to the agency to like work up experience to create a portfolio to bring with me to the conference in order to advertise myself. I'm applying for jobs, nothing sticking. I don't really have a professional headshot. I mean, I have a good picture of myself, but it's not a professional headshot. So I'm just doing my best. <laughs> and I didn't have the money to get a headshot, like some new headshots done. So I was just working with like 
my iPhone 11 camera, which is pretty good. You can get some good headshots, headshots off of that. But so I'm applying for jobs, like I'm not getting any job. And then I get an email about an unpaid commercial that they need someone to act for. So I'm like, bet, you know, I send in my information and I get an email back from the director and the owner of the company who is trying to like put this commercial on. He's like, hey, I would really like for you to be part of this commercial, you know, here are the dates and, you know, I'll send you your lines so that you can start preparing. Um, it's going to be like in two months. So, you know, just prepare and, you know, we're excited to work with you. So I'm like, I'm like, hell yeah, like I got a job, like finally. I got accepted and I got approved for this conference in early 2021 and the modeling conference is going to be in January of 2022. So I had like all year to prepare for this. I forgot to tell you guys this, but like, you know, they made it seem like, you know, it's a great opportunity. You got accepted, da da da. But when they called me back to tell me that I was accepted for the modeling conference, they're like, yeah, you got accepted, yay. But it's actually gonna be $5,000 to even attend this conference, not including all the headshots, clothes, your portfolio, not everything that you need in order to go to the conference, not even the flight to go to the conference. It's just gonna be $5,000 to be present within the room. <laughs> of all these international agencies so I was like you know what I feel like this is for me like this is a great opportunity so I picked up extra shifts at the smoke shop in order to pay for this conference hence like the first video that you guys hence the first video that was on my channel I was in the smoke shop I was working there on the weekends to pay for this conference you know five thousand dollars to go to this conference and you only got a year to pay that it's like that's five hundred dollars a month honey so <laughs> And I am young. I don't I don't got money like that. You know, I'm just starting off trading $5,000 to attend the conference Not even including all the materials that I need in order to advertise myself once I get there. So <laughs> Paying for that working on becoming a better trader Yada yada yada. All right, I get that job I get that commercial job right so I'm preparing I'm excited for that so the agency keeps sending out jobs keeps sending out jobs and I I apply for one and I actually get that job so it was a photo shoot for a new spa that had just opened so I'm like hell yeah I got two jobs nailed you know there's a ton more it's probably gonna be sent out be before the conference starts so you know no problem I'm gonna get experience before I go to put on my resume right so I get the job, I get the, I get the job for the spa photo shoot, you know, I go to the spa, um, they're doing facials, so I'm like, okay, you know, I'm getting my facial done, it's exciting, and she starts the facial, and I'm like, wait, I'm just, I asked her, I'm like, I'm just curious, like, why didn't you take any pictures before you started the facial? And she's like, oh, we're a new spa, you know, we opened before COVID, but we had to close it. We're actually just trying to get exposure. So that's why we're doing these facials. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, that's really weird because this is like a spa photo shoot. You know, I'm grateful to get a free facial, but at the, at the end of the day, I only came here because I want to get experience. So that like really frustrated me, right? So. Um, I got that done, but the next thing, you know, I had was the commercial. So I'm like, you know what? I'm good. That's fine. I, it, and it's getting, so at this point it's getting close to when the commercial is coming up. So I emailed the director and I'm like, Hey, I still haven't gotten my lines. I just want to know like, you know, what they are so I can start preparing. And he sends me an email back. He's like, Oh, I'm sorry. Um, we are actually postponing the commercial until next year. So, you know, we'll get in touch with you next year, you know, so I'm really sorry about that. I know you were excited. We were excited as well, but it's just, it's not happening this year. So I'm like, okay, there's one job wasn't what they advertised and second job just kind of fizzled out. So I'm like, you know what? It's kind of a bummer, but it's whatever, you know, I'm going to get more jobs down the line. I decided, you know, I wanted to start a YouTube channel. So... I started making videos, posting content, and I was really excited about that. And the craziest part is like, I was trying to figure out what types of videos to post because I just didn't really know. I knew I wanted to post like Forex and personal, de personal development and just like, you know, vlogs, just, you know, 
put myself out there, I guess. And I felt, and God gave me this really good idea, like, hey, I, Tia, you've been looking on YouTube for a ton of Forex book reviews, but there's none out there. So why don't you read these books and start doing Forex book, re book reviews? So I'm like, you know what? That's a really good idea. Like, thank you, God. Like, I would have never thought on that. I thought about that on my own. So I put a video out. I don't have too many videos on my channel, so you can like probably see it's like um, new series, like Forex book reviews. So I put that video out and someone messaged me on Instagram and they're like, hey, I just started watching your channel. I just started watching your videos. I'm really excited for this book review series. When is that first review going to be out? And I was like, oh crap. Like at that point I had like under 30 subscribers. So I'm like, someone's already messaging me about when the next video is going to be coming out. So <laughs> I better pop this baby out real quick. But I was like, you know what? that really shows me that I'm meant to do this and that I did hear from God. So it made me feel really good about that decision. So I put that video out. Great. Like it got some really good feedback and people were sharing it. So I'm like, you know what? This is this. I might be onto something, you know, or you might be onto something. I'm continuing studying Forex and studying the markets while getting ready for this conference. Um, it's getting closer to the conference now. I'm, I don't really have any jobs. I've been sending out multiple applications for these modeling jobs, for these acting jobs, nothing sticking but those two jobs that I thought I had, which, you know, ended up dissipating <laughs> out of the blue. Um, and I'm starting to get really stressed out. Like, there's a lot of things that I have to do in order to prepare for this conference, a lot of money that I have to come up with, so, um... My boyfriend and I ended up breaking it down like it's five thousand dollars to go to the conference to attend the conference and not only is it five thousand five thousand dollars to attend but between everything that I need to get it's an extra four thousand dollars so like in total nine thousand dollars just to go and be prepared for this conference so it's getting closer I'm like losing focus in Forex you know it's my first year of trading so I'm getting really discouraged I'm like gaining a lot of money but I'm also like losing a lot more money <laughs> so like I take a break for maybe a week or two start getting back into Forex take a break for like a week or two and then I'm trying to juggle two jobs trying to prepare for this conference trying to get jobs just a lot of things going on in my life um, so I kind of like slowed down on the Forex and started putting more effort into the modeling but you know I'm not getting any jobs so it's getting closer i'm not really trading as much uh, i'm not with the academy anymore so i'm not on the live trading sessions so i'm just relying on my own analysis which is not doing well because my first couple months of trading i went through the academy and then i went straight into the live trading sessions so i wasn't really honing in on doing my own analysis which really kind of backfired on me um because I didn't really know what to look for. I was just following trades and taking trades based on what the educators were doing. And that really um, hindered me once I was not in the academy anymore. Fast forward, it was, it's probably, let me see, it's October now. So this is probably in like August, July, July, August, September, between these months. I was like, God, I don't really know what to do. Like, I don't really know what direction I should go in right now. Like, Forex isn't doing well for me. This modeling thing isn't working out. Like, I don't really know where to put my focus in. I'm trying to do a thousand things at once, you know, and it's just, I'm really kind of lost. I start trying to put more effort into, you know, modeling and trying to get the ball rolling. And this is also around the same time where I had, after I had started my YouTube channel. And the crazy thing is, right, nothing was working for modeling like all the jobs all the things i was applying for for the modeling jobs nothing was sticking all the opportunities i thought i had disappeared right but then i get someone who messaged me about a video i'm going to put out before i even put the video out and i have less than 100 subscribers okay and after that on another one of my videos this guy commented he's like hey this is kind of i know this might be kind of weird but god is 
putting it on my heart to like reach out to you because my brother and I were looking for a female forex trader and we were just talking about this yesterday and then all of a sudden you popped up on my feed so I just thought I'd reach out you know maybe help you out if you need some guidance with forex so I'm like it's kind of weird lord I was just asking you like what the break should I do and so you know that was kind of a cool a cool thing you know I hit them up we got connected whatever whatever pretty cool people pretty cool all right shout out to y'all if you're listening <laughs> gang okay <laughs> um yeah right so modeling's not working I'm all of a sudden getting like all these people reaching out to me about my forex videos um right like a couple weeks later okay I'm at my day job I work at a real estate company I'm at my day job and my boss comes up to me he's like hey Tia um I just met this dude he has like a five million dollar house um he's a commodities trader and I think like maybe we should try and get connected with him you know to see like how he did it or just like you know make a connection so I'm like oh shit that's kind of weird you just met a commodity trader and I'm trying to be a professional successful trader you know let's do it um so I was gonna end up like writing a letter to him and try to get the company connected with him and try to meet him but that didn't end up working out you know we got busy during doing the other daily tasks we had to do at the office so I just kind of forgot about that like a week later my boss calls me he's like hey Tia um my friend needs some help at this job that she's gonna do uh, she's a professional chef and she needs some help hosting a dinner party so I'm like okay that's fine like I'm cool with that he's like yeah the dinner party is actually gonna be at the commodity traders house so while you're there you should get connected with him and you know try to make some conversation get us connected I'm like oh shit I'm going to this traders house who's had success seen success is currently in success you know bought his house in cash through money that he's traded so I'm like hell yeah I'm there I don't even care if I'm gonna get paid I'm just there so I do the job I see his house I'm like mind blown he was like a five million dollar house eight million in additions paid for all that in cash and I'm just like wow god like I know like I'm here to see like this is a possibility like just being here knowing that he's a commodity trader and he has he's had success it's just a blessing just to be in his house and serve him food like <laughs> it was just I was really blessed I was like wow I'm really grateful to be this opportunity I do that job and I start to reflect you know I'm I'm having trouble like with the agency and I'm just not really getting a good vibe from the agency I feel like they're just money hungry and I mean you might have um had that idea when I told you that it was five thousand dollars to attend this conference but you know I was just optimistic I'm a risk taker any opportunity that can get me somewhere I'm willing to take any you know as long as it's ethical let me just (laughs) let me just put that out there as long as as it's ethical I'm willing to take that risk and you know I just I'm just that type of person I'm open-minded so you know in the beginning I thought modeling was really for me but then all these doors started closing all the jobs that I thought I had I wasn't getting I wasn't getting any responses on any other jobs that I had and I was just not getting a good feeling about the modeling agency like I felt like they just didn't really care I just felt like they didn't really care about the success of their students they just wanted to get their bag and go a couple weeks ago I'm like lord things are just not adding up like I thought this is a great opportunity for me but you're I feel like you're closing all these doors and then all of a sudden when I start when I listen to your voice on starting this book review series all these opportunities start popping up not even related to my YouTube channel like forex trading opportunities are coming to me at my day job when it's not even related to my passion on forex like my original passion and i didn't even really want to do modeling in the beginning at all i just thought it was a good opportunity to make money so i'm like hey let me do it you know but my real passion you know when i listened to your voice all these opportunities started coming my way and all these opportunities that i thought were a good idea and i thought were for for me the doors started closing 
So a couple weeks ago, my agency sends out another job and it was a test photo shoot for some photographers. They were getting new cameras, new equipment, and they just wanted to test it out. So they're going to pay the models $100 just to come and test out the cameras and you'd be able to keep the pictures. So I'm like, you know what, Lord, if this modeling thing really is for me, then allow me to get this job. But if it's not, don't allow me to get the job. I, I'm not, I know that if I don't get this job, it's not for me. And I asked him for this confirmation because I was feeling like, you know, maybe I shouldn't go to the conference. I've already paid so much money. I was, I've already been making monthly payments to go to the conference, but I was like, you know what? I feel like this just isn't for me anymore. God is closing all these doors. Like I don't want to pay another $4,000 to get prepared for the conference, finish paying the conference um, fees, entrance fee, and then go to the conference and not end up with any type of contract afterwards. Like I feel like that would just, I feel like that was just going to be a waste of time, energy, and money that I could have been, I could be putting into Forex, you know? Especially like if it's not meant for me, like I'm not going to waste my time chasing something that God's not going to let me have. So that's why I ask God for confirmation. I send in my, my information didn't get the job so I'm like you know what okay that's that's a sign that <laughs> this might not actually be for me be for me so I talked to my mom I talked to my dad I talked to my sister and I talked to one of my best friends all separately and they all say the same thing they're very supportive they're like you know what Tia if you feel like God is telling you this is not for you then don't do it put all of your effort into forex because why waste your time on something that God's not gonna let you have you know it's just not gonna happen so you know they're very supportive they're like Tia if you believe that's what God's telling you go ahead and do that right so I talked to all of them but I don't talk to my boyfriend yet about how I'm feeling because I'm <laughs> nervous on what he's gonna say because I know he put money into it for me and he invested in it for me because he believed in me and the opportunity so I wanted to be very sure of my decision before I let him know so tell them they all said the same thing very supportive right so after a while of thinking i'm like you know what tia you've seen enough of you've seen enough miracles in your life you've seen and y'all when i tell you i've seen miracles when i tell you i've seen my mom ask god for things and he comes through god God came through hard honey like I've seen so much stuff in my life like I told y'all I've moved cross-country three times at this point now and those were all moves of God like I've seen my mom get revelations from God I've seen God tell her things about the future and that comes that those all those things come true like everything God has told her has come true I've seen God do so many miracles, so many things in my life to where like, I know when God is shutting a door and I know when he's opening one. And I just felt like this was that type of scenario. All of them, all, all the doors for modeling are closing. And then all of a sudden, all these doors for Forex are opening. So I'm like, you know what? Let me shift my focus because I have, I haven't had any type of direction. I haven't, I didn't know where to take my life at that point because I just felt stuck so I'm like you know what I think after some reflecting and after giving it some thought I'm like okay all my family has said the same thing they've you know they supported me they've agreed with what I said God has given me one confirmation so let me tell my boyfriend I tell him and he blew up on me <laughs> he blew up on me and he's like God's not telling you to gamble like are you serious like God's not telling you that like and keep in mind like we were we we're a team so he's he was upset that he put money into it I put money into it I put time into it when we could have been like putting that money into saving for a house so he's like God's not telling you to gamble like why would he tell you that you know we could have been so much farther than where we're at if you just did nothing like you wasted so much time and so much money on this all for it to like not happen and I was like what like what are you even talking about like for one forex is not gambling honey forex is not gambling if you know what you're doing 
And second of all, like, how, who are you to tell me what God is speaking into my life? Like, you don't, you have no idea what God is telling me. And that's, that's, that was another confirmation to me. That's when I knew, like, you know what, Tia? If he's trying to tell you, (laughs) if he's trying to tell you what God is saying to you and what God's not saying to you, the enemy really wants you to continue and waste more money and waste more time on this because the enemy will send things like that. The enemy will send things to confuse you. The enemy will send things to you. And I just, I just felt like the devil was speaking through him. (laughs) I just felt like the devil was really just like trying to attack me. And I literally just watched, it's so crazy because I'm doing this video today and I, God gave me the idea to share this with you guys. And literally before, even before I, I got the idea for this, I was watching a sermon and the preacher was like, the devil will send people in your life to ruin your mood to make you think you're not hearing from god because god says it's not good for for man to be alone so god will send people in your life to bless you god will send people in your life to help do miracles for you you know and same thing with the devil the devil will send people to ruin your attitude ruin your your future to ruin your emotions just to mess with you so I'm like you know what I must be (laughs) I must be hearing from God if he's trying to if he's blowing up on me saying like I'm not hearing from God like of all things of all the things he could have said you know I don't think that he he could have said I don't think that's a good idea you know you spend so much time on this are you sure you want to throw that all away he could have said so many things but he wanted to tell me no you're not hearing from God God's not telling you to gamble God's not telling you to do this so I was like, you know what? I must be onto something. God must be onto something. So, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make the decision to. And keep in mind, I was really scared. I was, I was scared to, to go and say, hey, I don't want to do this anymore because I did put so much time. I did put so much effort. I put tears. I put money, so much money into the, going to this conference. I had so much hope for this, and it ended up letting me down. And I was talking to my mom about this and, and she was like, you know what, Tia, God will open doors for you, but the enemy will also open doors for you. But the difference between God opening doors and enemy opening doors is God will open doors and it'll just be an endless hallway of open doors, of opportunities, of things that will help you along your journey. But the enemy will open a door and once you get in that hallway, all the doors will be closed and you're going to be at a dead end. You know, he's going to present things to you that are going to look like great opportunities. He's going to present things to you that look so amazing. But once you actually get through it and once you actually and once you actually are in deep into it, you're going to realize like it's not what it looked like. Okay, fast forward. So, I am I'm like, you know what? I must be hearing from God if I'm if I'm <laughs> fearful if <laughs> If I'm not sure if I heard what he said, but I'm getting all these confirmations. If, if even the person that's supposed to be closest to me is telling me I'm not hearing from God and I'm already feeling uneasy about the agency, I'm already feeling uneasy about the conference. You know what? I must be hearing from him. So I'm like, I call my mom up and I'm like, mom, would you please come with me to the agency to cancel this contract? Because I'm kind of nervous, but I just feel like it's the right thing for me to do. And I told my mom also about all about all these doors closing and about all the forex doors opening and she's like you know what Tia that makes sense you know I'm with you I support you and I totally agree I spent a week contemplating you know what I want to do if I actually wanted to cancel the contract and at this point I had no interest in even going to the conference like that whole entire thought and being excited and you know this is a great opportunity all that went out all that went out the window I was like you know what I'm not even interested in this anymore like I'm not just gonna stay because of the opportunity you know if I'm not gonna put my full effort into it if I don't even want to do it anymore there's no point in me even going and wasting more money so I was contemplating I was contemplating this for like about a week and Saturday hits and Saturday is the day that my payments come out for the modeling agency so I'm like you know what Let me just go let me just go and cancel the payment already came out today so i'm not going to wait any more time for them to take more of my money if i'm not going to go i asked my mom to go to the agency with me 
um, we go to the agency and before we get inside, I'm like, hey mom, if you, I would really appreciate it if you could please pray with me. She was like, okay, honey. And, um, I, the payment came out that day, you know, it was Saturday and, but it was, it was still pending. The payment was still pending in my bank account. So I prayed with her and I'm like, Lord, if I am not sp supposed to go to this conference, please have them return the payment for today. I don't even care. I, I already know I can't get a refund on the money that I put forth because I, I remember what I signed when I signed the contract to go to the conference. Um, you know, if they can refund that payment, the, at least a part of my payments I've made, that'd be great. But give me confirmation by having them smoothly refund the payment I meant I made today. So we go inside the agency and I say, hey, I don't really want to do this conference anymore. I got a lot of stuff going on in my life right now. I just don't think it's for me. Um, I would appreciate if I could get a partial payment, a partial refund on the payments I've made so far. But if not, that's okay. I just really want a refund on the payment that was posted to my account today. And she's like, okay, um, at this point, we can't give you any refunds on the previous payments you made. At this point, since it's so close to the conference, we normally have the attendees pay the rest of the balance, but we don't like to do that. Um, cause if you don't, it'll go, it'll go to collections and we don't really like to do that. So you can either donate your balance or just let it go. I can't refund the payment you made today cause that's not in my control, but I can call the director and let you know next week, um, what she says because she's on vacation right now so I'm like okay you know what that's fine like I understand um I already kind of had a feeling about the refund but you know please give her a call and let me know and she's like okay you can you can give us a call back next week and you know I'll let you know about the refund for today about the the payment you made today so I'm like, okay. And keep in mind, y'all, every time I've called to ask them about something and they said they would call me back, they never have ever called me back. Not once. Zippo. So they don't have a good track record with that. So I'm like, okay, well, what day can, can you call me back? Like, what day can I anticipate a call from you? And she's like, oh, um, I'm not too sure since, um, the director is on vacation. So I'm like, okay, you know, that's fine. Um, I still just want to cancel the contract because I just, I can't, I don't want to do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. She's like, okay, that's fine. You know, um, let us know if you change your mind. So I'm like, okay, I just, I really, I don't want to do it. You can just donate that to the next attendee. She's like, okay, that's fine. So my mom and I leave and I'm like, dang, like, I'm kind of discouraged. Like, I can't really get my money back and I don't have a, a solid answer on on the payment that was posted today and I have a feeling they're just they're not gonna call me back because uh, they never <laughs> have ever called me back um, so my mom and I were just outside in the parking lot talking and five minutes later I get a call from an unknown number and I'm like that's weird like I haven't given anyone my number I I don't know why <laughs> I have a call from an unknown number and I wasn't gonna answer it but something inside me just told me like you know what Tia just answered the phone really quick so I answered the phone and it was the lady from the front desk and she's like, hey, um, hey Tia, just give me a call back. I actually talked to Angela right now. She was available and she said it was okay that we refund your payment that you made today. So, um, you know, let me know if anything changes, but, um, that payment will be refunded. So I'm like, okay, thank you. And I get out of the phone. I'm like, mom, guess what? Guess what just happened? She's like, what? And I'm like, they refunded my payment for today. Like they refunded the payment that was posted on my account, on my, my bank account. She's like, what? That's crazy. And so that was like literally direct confirmation from God that I did the right thing and that I, that I wasn't supposed to go to the conference. That leads into like hearing God is really important. And now that I have out that out the way, I know that God is like pushing me to focus more on Forex and to put all my effort into learning and becoming the best trader, if not the best trader in the world <laughs> that I could possibly be. And I wanted to share this story. I wanted to share this testimony with you guys because even if you have the smallest faith in God that he will come through and that you can hear from him too. And it's not just like something 
and that it's not just something that was in Bible times. It's not just something for God's selected children, you know, like this can literally happen to you. It can happen to anyone as long as you have faith in God and you step out in belief and in faith, you know. I was watching a sermon and they said that the opposite of faith is fear and that was entirely true like I had not canceled my contract for the modeling conference because I was scared the craziest part <laughs> is like that same day where I canceled my contract my boyfriend and I were going to go roller skating um, quick quick story quick ending story we were gonna go roller skating um, he was supposed to get there at 7 but he ended up getting there like 45 minutes later than we anticipated so we go in it's almost eight and we get up to the roller skating counter and the guy up behind the counter he's like hey are you guys here for ministry night and I'm like I didn't even know that was a thing here <laughs> and he's like oh well they're just gonna be playing gospel music while you guys are roller skating is that okay I'm like mm, hell yeah that's fine <laughs> so we go that that same day I cancel my contract for the modeling conference I'm really skating around in gospel music that I didn't even know was going to happen and if he were to came, if he were to have came to the roller skating rink on time then I wouldn't have been there for ministry night which goes to show like everything happens for a reason so now I'm going to be putting my full fo full focus into forex education you guys can expect another forex book review here within the next month month and a half and I will be putting out more videos in between then so you guys aren't just left hanging um, I hope this story impacted you guys. I hope that it boosted your faith. It gave you confidence to pursue faith and that God can be in control of your life and you can have a clear path in life if you listen to him. So I hope you guys liked the story time. Please stay tuned for the next video. And um, yeah, I will have a more like clear cut my forex journey um maybe in a couple months you know once i have more education under my belt but um this is just my testimony along my forex journey it's um, my forex journey is definitely far from over so thank you guys for tuning in if you want to see me go from zero pips to profit stay tuned for the next videos and i will see you guys later don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more